We go to Ascot races. Yes, we well, yes, have. Yes, we dress up. We dress up with a Joy's Ascot got hats yes. and all sorts. <laughs> and can I just show you here? Such tatting. That is tatting. tatting. Tinsel, and turkey. Tinsel and turkey. Tinsel and turkey. Tinsel and turkey. We had a wonderful time. And we do sell them in our shop. You know, we're really enjoying life, aren't we? Yeah. Mayfair is the hub of the community. We are run by the community for the community. It's a place where people of all ages can come, can mix, can get therapies, can get food, can get advice, can get help, can get companionship. I've been to quite a lot of different areas of the country looking at how they're delivering services and what happens in Church Stretton is light years ahead of what others are trying to do. We have over 280 registered volunteers who give in excess of 600 hours of time a week. You can make everybody happy if, if you all work together. Um, it's not just their time, it's their energy, enthusiasm and commitment that makes Mayfair such a special place. I came to Mayfair Centre because of the stroke and the brain injury. They have given me the confidence to go out on my own. We're trialling a hospital avoidance project with our local GP practice. What we've set up is, uh, is a trial with the local care agency where they have um, a team of staff who will respond quite quickly and then we follow on uh, with our Maisie and Coco team to provide more ongoing support for them if it's needed and required. I am a Coco volunteer at Maisie and our job is to just befriend those who are lonely, young or like Hedy, as fit as a flea. It's nice to talk to someone and to go out to meet someone, you see. We're uh, delivering Mayfair meals to uh, aged clients who probably actually don't see a lot of people. When the council decided to change their um, practice to offer more frozen meals, our trustees felt that there was a real need for a hot meal service. We have the support of a local group called Good Neighbours who do the delivery, the actual transporting the meals to people's homes. It's basically something which is more than just about food. It's about identifying needs, it's about companionship. People say the same thing, you know, why haven't we got a Mayfair Centre? And, and the answer's been, not just for me, but for many other people, is there's nothing to stop you, you can have it, but it needs to come from the community. But it's like being part of a big family, and I think being part of a big family in a place where people know you and care for you is what Mayfair's about. Mayfair is very much about working with others, both individuals and organisations, developing much more integrated services with the community at the heart of it. And that's very much what our plans for the development of the clinic next door is all about. It offers so many opportunities, certainly for older people, lonely people, disadvantaged people, to engage in their community and to be active. If people come here and they feel better about themselves, their lives are going to be more independent, and in the long run, it's going to save money for society because of the way it operates. We started as volunteering client, we're now friends. There is all sorts. It takes all sorts. <laughs> <laughs>